Oh. That's a big takedown. That's a big take. That's a big take. Wow. Okay, it's totally spinning me around here. Oh, wow. Big hit. That's a better hit. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, that one's on too. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a big fish, okay. Good morning everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here and I'm really excited. Uh, I'm doing something I've never done before and definitely never done on the channel before. I'm doing some kayak catfishing this morning, uh, taken after uh, Justin from Kayak Catfish. I'm gonna be totally trying to rip off his methods, see if they work for me. Uh, I'm fishing a new body of water. Uh, I don't think I've ever put up a freshwater kayak video on the channel before. I've done it a little bit. Don't think I've really done it at all since I got this kayak, but anyway, it's first light right now, sunrise, just coming up over the hill there. Uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Uh, I've got two dozen live heron, I've got some fresh shrimp, uh, and I have some intel from Joseph Dennis from Father and Son Outdoors. Uh, I was texting him yesterday, bothering him, but he answered all my questions and was very helpful. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can do some drift fishing today, see what we can get into. Uh, got some big Carolina rigs and uh, I'm ready to go. Let's just get the baits out now. I've seen some big blow ups already. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, wish me luck. Should be fun. All right, I am so excited right now. Pick it up. Run two rod holders today. And uh, my plan is to just cover water drift fishing until I uh, find a big pile of them and try to stay in one place. It's almost no flow out here today, which is perfect. So the rods are gonna be out like this. And hopefully they're feeling sturdy today. Yeah, look at all those marks, huh? Not all those are giant fish, but I'm in 30 feet, so those marks are a little bigger than they look. So I've never used live heron before, but I could get the gist, just a live bait. Loosen this up a bit. Don't want my rod getting pulled into water. And I'm using three ounce egg weights on a Carolina rig here. So the plan is to drop it straight down. Now it's just a foot or two off the bottom. Just put it in the holder and wait. And uh, then all there is to do is try to keep your drift at a reasonable speed. All right, and we are catfishing. And uh, I think on this rod, I'm gonna do a little jig. I'm gonna use a little YSV two and a half, or maybe it's even two inch uh, little swim bait here. Slather a whole bunch of scent on here. My goal today is to catch a catfish at all big one would be ideal but I would really really love to get one on artificial I think that'd be super cool I've gotten them by accident on artificial before but uh, obviously never from a kayak since I've never kayak catfished it's about 6 15 in the morning right now been up for a while I just got hit on my jig rod Oh, I just hooked up on the jig. I have no idea what this is. Felt good though. Probably a small cat. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Didn't expect that. <laughs> First fish, fat little blue cat on the Elias V jerk shed. That's funny. Oh, come on. Take it. Saw that hit. There we go. Doesn't feel real big, but first catfish actually on Heron. All right, really small. <laughs> also, my weight's all messed up. Another guy very similar to that first one. Tiny little fat blue cat. Well, I guess it's reassuring to know. The population's safe since there's so many babies out here. Oh, there we come on. All right, that guy's on. Just trying to get my other bait out. I think it's another tiny one, so I won't be heartbroken if he gets off. Let's get this guy. Oh, maybe he's bigger than I thought. That'd be nice. 
I don't think so. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Really not though. Biggest one so far, which is not great. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Come on. Take down. It's rolling around down there. Oh, nice. A little blue. Oh, wow. Okay, but that one's on. He's pulling. He's pulling, too. Ugh. Ooh. That one's heavy. Not a monster, I don't think, but definitely the best so far. Nice. About to freak out on me, I bet. Yep. <laughs> Let's let him cool off. Leave him there. Let's get another bait out. Okay. Let's go ahead and deal with this guy now. Not big, but a uh, fun fight. Biggest one this morning. All right. To redo this drift, see what we can get into this time. Both of these, uh, the baits are uh, herring, a fresh one cut in half with both pieces threaded on the hook. I do also have fresh shrimp. Um, probably after I lose the next one of these baits, gonna try the shrimp out. Never used it for catfish before, but I know it's sworn by. And again, I was told by uh, Joseph Dennis of Father and Son Outdoors to uh, bring some fresh shrimp, so. I listen to him. He knows what he's doing, obviously. Oh, that's a fish. <sighs> okay. He's rolling like crazy. Oof. Definitely better than the channel, but still not. Well, it's another channel, <laughs> but a bigger channel. He almost has like flathead colors on him. All right, let's get some of these shrimp out. I mean, look at the size of these shrimp. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get like two baits out of each of these. I'll pull a few of these out. Gosh. Oh. That's a big takedown. That's a big take. That's a big take. Wow. Okay, it's totally spinning me around here. I didn't know what was happening for a second. No. Okay, he still got it. I thought he dropped it for a second. Oh. Bring this one up. This is a big fish. He doesn't want to come up. He's really stuck to that bottle. Oh, wow. <laughs> Felt a bump and my kayak started turning around. And I was like, wait, how would it be snagged in that direction? This guy's really bouncy. a good fish. You see him down there? Not giant. <laughs> definitely, definitely the best of the morning so far. I've only been out here for about two hours. I'm gonna let him tire himself out. I'm really curious about this whole shrimp thing. I'm just gonna hook it like that. See what happens. Okay. Now let's 
Let's get this other guy in. Hooked right in the roof of the mouth. I'll try to put him on the fish grips here. There we go. Got him. <laughs> That's a pretty good fish. I think it's a channel, actually. Get the hook out of him. Get a quick release after. All right. Let's get a look at this one. See if I can get him in the picture. Not too bad. That's like a... Um, well, I'll put him on the board here in a second, I guess. Pretty nice little catfish here. Spun the kayak around. Got me excited for if I uh, managed to hook a really big one. Uh, yeah, let's throw him on the board and get him back quick. Nice, things are looking up now. Solid start, though. All right, nose. That is a 31-inch catfish. Cool. Let's get this guy back. Let go. There he goes. <laughs> Back to the depths. Ooh. There we go. He hooked up. Another not terrible one. No, no, no. Wow. I was way off. It is pretty bad. <laughs> Just took off with it again. Fat, fat blue cat. Oh my gosh, look at the gut on this thing. Ooh. It's a fish. That is definitely a fish. A little channel. Wow. And he just tossed my chunk of shrimp, but that's okay. And the takedowns in the kayak are so violent. They're all so fat, too. Oh. Oh, wow. Big takedown for a small fish. I just drifted down a good ways here. Uh, I figure I'll put the baits back out and continue my drift for a bit. See if I can't uh, pick one up. I actually was just talking to uh, Elise on the phone and uh, we decided we wanted to do a uh, fish fry tonight. So I think I'm gonna do like a fish and chip situation. So if I get another good uh, keeper size, uh, eater size, I'll uh, throw, them in the, uh, throw them in the cooler, take it. Oh. There he is. There we go. Oh wow, wow, wow. I was just trying to adjust that and I just dropped it straight in something's mouth. This is the shrimp. It's rolling. Nice. That might be my uh, keeper actually. Nice. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good keeper size for me. Little blue cat. Well, if you've never used shrimp, don't knock it for catfish. Nice. Nice pretty one. It's coming home. In uh, Lake Marion, you're not allowed to keep more than one over 34 inches, but he's only 26. Nice keeper, buddy. You can have a good, probably pound and a half. Maybe two pounds of fillets on you. Get him in the cooler. Oh, wow, big hit. Doesn't mean it's a big fish. Just tumbling around down there, but he r ripped that rod down. Oh, is that one about to go too? <laughs> nice. It's been another good eater size, but I only need the one. A little smaller than the one that's in the cooler. Seen some good marks under me right now in shallow. So got my shrimp. Oh, yep, yep. See? Huh. 
as I was saying, don't think he's big either. No, pretty similar size. This is a pretty one. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Wow. Okay. Another solid size one. Nice fat guy. <laughs> I'm gonna freshen up these baits here. Okay. Let's freshen up this one. I'm gonna try to do a nice slow drift right at 30 feet. That's where I've been marking most everything in here. Had some good marks over the next 50, 60 yards or so. Oh, there we go. That was quick. Not big. Just a little tiny blue. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was a better hit. That was a better hit. Nice. That's a good one. Wow. And I'm getting bit over there too, but I'm not taking my attention away from this. This is one of the better hits I've had today. And it's on the shrimp. Nice. It's a good fish. Oh, that one's on too. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a big fish. Okay, loosen up my drag here. Put him in the rod holder. Let's do. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yep. All right, I gotta keep an eye on. Let's loosen that a little bit. Oh no, this one is small. He just got all tangled up. He lassoed himself get rid of him real quick so I can deal with the other one. How'd you even do that? Okay. Get this one back over here. And then let's pick up on this guy. Tighten my drag back down a little bit so I can get him in. There we go. Nice fish. Whew. Look at that one, huh? That might be the biggest one. It's close to it. Nice blue cat, I think. Uh, if it's a channel cat, let me know, but I think it's a blue. Uh, he's grunting at me here. Uh, pretty one, too. I'm gonna get him on the board just to see. Biggest today was uh, 31 inches. I think this guy's about the same. This guy went 29. Let's get him back. There he goes. Oh, come on, take it. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's another good one. <laughs> Let's reel this one up. Should be seeing him soon. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's get this one back down. It's a nice boil. This might be the big one of the day. Pretty close. Come here. There we go. Finally. 
Oh, nice fish. Just at 32 again, but this one definitely looks bigger. So uh, this is my second 32, my third decent catfish in the last like 10 minutes. Might be getting on a bite here. It's a good thing I still have shrimp left. Let's uh, get this one back. See if we can find some more before the day's over. Come on, buddy. You were just so gung-ho. There he goes. Well, where has this action been all morning, huh? I, mean, I got on some numbers early, but not this kind of size. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we go, okay. I don't think, I'm pretty sure this is a snag. Let's just, okay. Worry about that later. Oof, wow, that is a beat up blue cat. Man, he's a fighter though. This one's probably a little bit smaller than the last one. There we go. My other rod snagged, so I opened the bale. Deal with that in a second. There we go. Oh. Ha. Angry one. Nice. Look at the gut on that guy. Get him back. He looks like he's having a rough go of it anyway. All right, I'm getting ready to wrap it up right here. I'm gonna check out the bridge on my way out, but if you don't see any footage from under there, that means I didn't catch anything. Uh, really good day, especially considering it's my first time kayak catfishing. First time fishing in this area for sure. I haven't fished freshwater, especially from the kayak, in a very long time. Uh, very fun day. Uh, I'm bringing home some dinner, which is cool. I'm not gonna do a catch and cook. I just did one the other day. I'm just gonna eat it. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you wanna see more catfishing content. I'm pretty sure I know the answer. In the past, when I put up what I thought were pretty good catfish videos, uh, they did not perform well. Uh, so don't know if you guys just aren't interested in those, which is fine, I still enjoy it or if uh, the algorithm doesn't like it, uh, you know, it's impossible to figure that out. But anyway, uh, let me know down below if you wanna see more of this or more freshwater stuff. Uh, I really wanna do some striper fishing up here uh, and I plan to come, you know, the fall. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to make some time for fishing and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.